Hey YouTube. Copper and Quarter here. Today, we will go through the latest modifications for the nitric acid generator. The Jacobs ladder method was very unstable, causing the arc to run for a while and then go out, necessitating constant adjustments of the copper rods. A stable solution was needed and found through the use of a simple arc. Surprisingly, this method produces just as much nitrogen dioxide as the Jacobs ladder method. Also, for added safety, a computer fan was added to keep things cool. Let's take a look. This is the new simple arc system. Consisting of two coiled copper rods, heat is dissipated and prevented from reaching the lower hardware, adding to the overall safety of the generator. At the top of the copper rods, a simple and stable arc is formed, producing just as much nitrogen dioxide as the Jacobs ladder method. This is the new cooling system. Consisting of a 12-volt computer fan, mounted with the help of four nuts and bolts and a rubber band, a simple yet effective, easily removable cooling solution is achieved, again adding to the overall safety of the generator. This is the gas dispersion system. Although not a new modification, this gas dispersion tube creates fine bubbles allowing for maximum surface area and nitrogen dioxide dispersion through distilled water, efficiently forming nitric acid. Little by little, the nitric acid generator becomes safer, stable, and efficient. If you enjoyed today's video, please like and subscribe. Your support helps tremendously. Thank you and see you next time.